There's no point in asking Arnold. He'll never give you a straight answer. You say there was a whole mail sack hidden in the wall? Oh, yeah, in Adam's nursery, Arnold's old study. Apparently, someone climbed up on the roof, pulled the flashing away from the chimney, and stuffed the mail bag down in there. I mean, I don't know why. Yeah, well, I've never seen stamps like those before. Mm. The post office is always bringing out new commemorative issues. Oh. I wonder why he put so many of them on one envelope. He must have been expecting something very heavy in return. I mean, why was he sending it here? I just don't get it. I'm getting a headache. I think I better go to work. Mm. Thank you so much for coming by. I'm just sorry that you couldn't give us the answers we wanted. I really came to say goodbye, and thank you for being so kind to me. I'm... I'm sorry I caused you so much trouble. Nonsense. You saved Pam's life by warning us about Eric Rykoff. Now we hopefully can start a normal life here. You've made this such a happy house. Arnold never knew what it was to be happy. He just kept pouring money into this place until I guess he thought the whole world would think he was somebody. Well, I'm sure the money from the robbery is what built this place. I hope not. That money has caused nothing but misery and death. I hope it's gone and never to be found. Me too. Me. <laughs> I don't know. We'll be coming up with it. Oh, hi. Hi. Come on hey. in. Uh, Shannon, you remember Adam Benson? Yeah. Hey. Oh, yes, we met kind of one time at Mona Lisa. I'm glad yes. to do so formally now. Are you going to be sticking around? No. Uh, uh, all I want is to go back to Florida and just live at ease. Oh. Well, you may get subpoenaed if Eric Rykoff implicates your husband as the man who masterminded that bank robbery. According to Roy, Rykoff is blaming the whole thing on Mr. Benson. Well, if that's the case, he's going to be behind bars for a long, long time. The world would be a better and safer place, believe me. I know. When you come back to Oakdale for the trial, why don't you just come and stay with us? And we'll fill your mind with good thoughts and good memories of this house. <laughs> Thank you. You've already done that, but I think I'd better be going. Goodbye, everybody. Nice seeing you again. Oh, I'll take care of you. Yes. Station. Yes. Shannon, I'll see you at the wedding. Glenn? Yes, yes. Will you be there? Oh, I'm a little wiggly at weddings, but Shannon's, uh, <laughs> she's, she's twisting my arm a little Good, bit. Good, twist away. Bye-bye, honey. Well, Adam's ready for his nap, Heard. so I'm going to take him upstairs. Thanks, sweetie. Oh, it is a mm -hmm. sweet day. Uh, my vote is that you go to the wedding, Harrington. We've all been working too hard. It's time to have some fun. Oh, I see. I just wish Mom would go, that's all. Mm, well, she is resting right now. And Grant is with her. Yeah, Lisa was looking a little groggy earlier. It is those sedatives. What? Come on, she doesn't need to take those anymore, does no, she? No, no, she doesn't. I mean, last night after Leanne's party, I'm sure that she was perfectly willing and wanting to go to, to sleep, but I heard Grant insisting that she take another one of those pills again anyway. I don't like his making her dependent on those things. I don't buy everything about Mrs. Ferreira, but still, she's been checked, and it seems that she and Tonio have someone down in Montega. Baby, I wouldn't want you to worship at the shrine of my lost Sierra all your... I wouldn't do that. It's just that maybe there's a chance she could be alive. She, she could come back. I wish that her life wasn't in the hands of a slime ball like Tony, and I'm glad that Meg's rid of him, and I wish we all were. Forget about him. Just think about what you did for her. You gave her so much. Gave you that beautiful boy, Brian? So we had some little time. Listen, is this Pam around? I'll find her for you. Hey, I saw your car drive up. Didn't you? I've been trying to vocalize all morning and nothing's been coming out. I'm going crazy. Well, we just take a day off or something and then relax. Relax? How am I supposed to relax when my whole life's on the line? If I can't sing, Lori's gonna cancel the tour. I'm never getting another shot like this, and I'm supposed to relax? Bo, well, I'm just trying to help you. I'm sorry. Look, it's just that Lori called this morning. She keeps talking about heavy-duty rehearsals. What if I can't sing? I wonder why Lenore changed her mind about coming with Jared. I don't know. I didn't feel I should ask. It just means that Jared isn't coming, and I'm gonna miss him. Oh, dear. She's such a lovely woman. But I don't know, she seems to have this deep, deep sadness in her. Oh, no, no, no. No talk of deep sadness. The wedding. Happy, happy. Come on, Mom. Now, you step aside. Me and Ellie are going to finish up the dishes. Well, all right. Come on. 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 Come Actually, that's why I'm calling. Bo's been having some vocal trouble, so I was wondering if I could come to the church and maybe stand in the back and listen while he sings. 
Um, well, the church is a barn, <laughs> and there's plenty of room. You're more than welcome. The ceremony's at 2.30. Uh, are the flowers here yet? No, no, they're not here yet. Uh. Hi. Well, Lori Clark is going to be coming to the wedding to hear Bo sing. Oh, hi, Lily. Isn't it a perfect day? We'll continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment. <laughs> 